Previously, I have created a video where I explained how you can use Gemini 2.0 Flash image generation experimental model to edit images. In this video, I am going to explore a few more use cases. So this is the first use case and this is a crazy use case. So you have a copyrighted image like this, right? You can actually give this image as input over here and you can say remove text in image, right? And this is the image which is generated whereby it has removed all watermarks. This is really crazy. I don't know for how long this is going to be available in this particular model. Okay, because this can violate copyright, right? So this model is currently available for free on Google AI Studio. So you can create a prompt over here and you can select the Gemini 2.0 flash image generation experimental. You can input your images and you can do your image editing stuff. So this is the first crazy use case. The next one is if you have a painting like this, right? This is a black and white image. And then you say color this image like winter. Okay. So this is the output which is generated. So this is like, you know, the winter version of this black and white image. You know, it is actually colored this image. It's done it quite well. And I said color this image like spring. It's changed the whole landscape to green over here. So very interesting. Uh, this coloring of colorization of images. Okay. I also tried out, you know, uploading another image and said that color this image like an oil painting. So this was the output. Okay. Now I say that color this image like it is watercolors. Colors. Let's see what happens. If you look at this image, the reflection and other things have come out really beautifully colored and like an oil painting. Okay. So this is watercolors. Okay. Of the same image. So you can change the style of, you know, or the style of painting over here. Another interesting use case is that if you have a person who is holding a phone like this, this is a Galaxy S24 Ultra, right? You want to swap in this with an iPhone. You can say him, uh, you can say like make him hold the iPhone instead of the yellow object over here. The person is holding an iPhone over here. If you notice the cameras are in the wrong direction, right? Uh, it depends on how you hold the iPhone, right? But it has done this product replacement over here. So now you can do product replacement, right? With photos. This is another amazing uh, use case. I have another example over here where, uh, you know, the person is holding a Samsung S24 Ultra, okay, or an S25 Ultra over here. And he said, replace the phone appropriately with a Pixel 9 Pro. So this is the image which has been generated. So it is quite close to a Pixel 9 Pro, not the exact thing, but you can also give a reference Pixel 9 Pro image and ask it to replace. So this is product replacement or product swapping, right? The next interesting thing is that you can generate illustrated stories. So this is a single line prompt, which I said, write an illustrated story about computers for toddlers with colorful images. It starts generating once upon a time in a bright and sunny house, lived a friendly little screen with colorful buttons around it. This was a computer. So this is the image. Next to the screen was a flat board with lots and lots of little squares. These squares had funny letters and numbers on them. This was a keyboard. And look, there was also a little friend that liked to slide around on the table. Uh, it had a button you could click. This was a mouse. Okay. So in this way, it starts generating this uh, nice illustrated story with images. So you can get creative and you can create it illustrated stories. Okay. Uh, using text prompts. Another example of a product swap. So basically you have an image like this of a person wearing a jacket and this is the jacket you want to swap. You just say replace the jacket giving these two images. Here it has done the replacement and it has done quite amazingly over here. Okay. So this is another example. Right. One more example of, you know, I have a cartoon image of Tom and Jerry and I say make Tom and Jerry box each other. This was the image which was generated. Quite good. Right. And then and I said make Tom and Jerry as musketeers fighting each other. This was the image which was created, even though the size of Jerry is a little bit big over here. But I like this image. So these were some of the wonderful use cases which I tried out, new use cases which I have tried out with 
uh, Google 2.0 Flash Image Generation Experimental. This is completely free for the moment. It's available in the API as well. You can go and try it out over here on aistudio.google.com. One more final use case is this. So I have a vase like this and I said create a 3D wireframe of the vase. It created something like this, but then I said create all possible 3D wireframes of the reference vase. Okay, maybe I was not specific. Here it has created a 3D wireframe of, you know, this vase. Okay, so, so many more use cases which can be explored over here with the Gemini 2.0 flash image generation experimental model. Hope this video is useful to you. See you in another video.